Hi everyone and welcome back. I am Judith Hammett and I am here with my little helper Ariana and today we are going to do a topical hair treatment um, on how to help you with damaged hair and or to help your hair growth. Um, we're not going to be talking about internal uses um, because it's just going to take a little bit longer. But remember, to get good strong hair, we do need to be eating properly because it's going to be coming from within as well. So what we're going to do today and the ingredients and tools you're going to need. First, I got um, a bottle from the dollar store. Okay, so for the doll, I just wanted basically something that has a nozzle that can get through my hair and down to my scalp, and I want something that's squeezable, okay? Second, you need some castor oil. So this is organic castor oil that I got from the health food store. Um, it was $7 for the bottle, really cheap. It goes a long way, very, very um, well worth it. I was actually told that the black castor oil is even better for hair. So make sure you speak to um, the person who's at the health food store and find out what's best for your hair. And then we're going to use some essential oils as well. Um, I do just want to touch on here that make sure that what you're using on your hair is good products as well. We don't want to be washing our hair with a whole bunch of chemicals. Um, so what I actually use for my hair is the doTERRA line of shampoo and conditioner. Um, so this is basically what it is. It lasts a very, very long time. I literally just got my hair cut on Monday, so it was much longer than this. Um, but this is what I basically do. So shampoo, you need, um, oh, even for my hair, about a quarter size. And what I do, my favorite oil to use for hair growth is rosemary. Okay, so what I do is in the shower, I take my shampoo, quarter size amount, I add two drops in and lather the whole thing in together. I leave it in for about a minute, rinse it off, and then use the conditioner. Again, I leave the conditioner in for a few minutes while I soap up and then rinse off. You want to make sure that you're not using shampoos and conditioners that are full of chemicals that are going to strip and damage your hair by themselves. Okay. So the topical treatment that we are going to be doing today is going to be some castor oil. And I'm not going to fill this bottle because it's going to last a really long time. I'm probably going to do about half. Hi Priscilla. Hi Gail. Gail. Gail, not Gail. Okay, so what I'm going to do is rosemary is by far my favorite oil for hair growth. Okay, I love how it works. Um, for those of you who don't know me as well, I had my hair permed in July-ish. So right now it's straightened. Um, you can still see some of the curls in here. My perm is about from the top, it's about down to here. So I've grown in over six inches since July. And this is literally what I do. Okay. So we're going to get a rosemary, we're going to probably do So I did 15 drops of rosemary, because it is my favorite. Okay. We're going to use the uh, Copa Ibaya. Copa Ibaya. Copa Ibaya. There you guys, meet your hands. So that was six drops of the Copa Ibaya. We're going to use some cedar wood as well. Five, six. So six of the cedar wood. I'm going to do the same thing with the lavender as well. So this is just really good for your scalp, for your hair. It's going to help with the hair growth. So six, lavender. Peppermint's really good as well, um, but I don't like a whole lot of cooling effects on my head. Um, so I'm going to only do about two to three drops of the peppermint. But it's supposed to be really good because it helps with circulation into the area. No, thank you. This one would be really good if you are... Uh, I normally try to do this before 
Um, nighttime, I like to let it sit in overnight time. So this was a video I was trying to do for you guys the other day, but it just got too late and I want it to sit in as long as possible. With Ariana, um, with her hair texture, it doesn't matter. So I can literally leave, put it in today and it can stay in and it's fine. And this is basically it. So I have our five oils in here. We're just going to give it a quick shake. And then for my hair, I'm literally just going to put it in and massage it around, okay? Um, with my hair, because of my perm and because of the amount of damage I have, I'm actually going to do this all the way through my hair because I haven't done this in quite a while because we've been out. So I'm going to let this one sit in overnight. Um, it's really good because it's it's the castor oil is very thick and feels very greasy, but it actually absorbs and it doesn't make a mess on my pillows and it can sit in and I'm going to wash this out um, to, in the morning and then I can style it or if I can actually leave it in for a little bit longer. But I mean, even if you're doing this for your damaged hair, even if you put it in for half an hour, an hour, right? And then I'll show you with Ariana's hair come. So with Ariana's hair, don't you stand up, stand up, stand up, please. Stand. Stand up, please. There you go. There we go. Um, so with her hair, we're gonna turn your head to the side. She has a ton of damage because of her um toque all winter long, so from hats coming on and off. It's really, really ripped up her hair. So we're gonna do the exact same thing in her hair as well. So normally I just work on the ends of her hair because the ends of her hair get very, very dried out. But the amount of damage from over the winter has been ridiculous. And even when I put up her ponytail, I'm having a very hard time styling it nicely. And it's because of the amount of breakage. So all I want to do is get the oils right in there and just massage them in. Okay, um, you can do this even once a week is great, once every other week. The more often that you can get it in and let it soak for a longer period of time, the better it's going to work. Okay, so I hope that was well, but make sure you guys are looking at your shampoos as well. You do need to be eating properly, so make sure that you are getting in um, some healthy oils, right? So you can't be eating junk food. Um, lots of protein, because that's where your hair is coming from as well. Um, but this is basically it. So we're just using our castor oil. We did... 15 drops of rosemary for about half the bottle of castor oil. We did six drops of lavender, six drops of the copa ibaya, six drops of the cedar wood, and about three drops of peppermint. Again, you guys can formulate this for how you want to do it as well. Make sure that you're doing the scalp, which is where your hair is actually coming in from. But if you have damage, then do it all the way through, which is what I'm going to go finish off. So I hope that was helpful and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.